Right, we're looking at uh, Rover 4.1. It's the latest Rover um, firmware from Pilot, and we're looking at the steering setup. I have done a full throttle steer navigation setup on this craft, and uh, I just want to go through some of the findings that we got here. These are the um, uh, parameters that we ended up with. Uh, some of the parameters according to the instructions in the initial rover setup. Uh, I can tell you on a large craft, such, okay, this isn't that big a craft, but on a craft such as this, a three meter craft, and on this one in particular, uh, there are some of those setups that absolutely do not work at all, um, which maybe needs to be addressed at some point, but I will uh, put a post regarding that on the uh, pilot group. But anyway, these are the parameters that we ended up with that you're going to see in this video now. Right, we are in South Africa, as you could see earlier. Um, we're going to zoom into our area. This is our predetermined flight plan. Well, the little part of it that we're going to show, it's just going to be the, I think it's the beginning part or somewhere around there or the second lap. I'm not too sure, but this is basically where this uh, test was carried out. Right, uh, like I said, we're on Inanda. This is looking at the logs now. We are using the log browser from Mission Planner by Pilot, And uh, this is the information that we're looking at here now. This section, I've only clipped the section that's in the video. So as we, uh, let me get that video playing. Right, um, you can see uh, she's coming up to waypoint 12 at this point now. Um, there's a little bit of wiggle. You can see there's a little bit of wiggle. But as you can see, the desired steering and the achieved steering is pretty close. It's pretty close. There she is at waypoint 12. And as you can see, if we zoom into waypoint 12, there's the actual waypoint which she should have hit. And then there's the uh, desired, that's the actual machine telling it where to go. And that's what was actually achieved. This isn't far out, this is actually very close. Uh, but there is a little bit of wiggle. Can you see her wiggling there? There she just hit waypoint 13. She just went past waypoint 13 there. You can see she, she cut the corner a little bit early there. Uh, but it's because of the waypoint radius. If you look at the um, parameter list, there's a very sharp turn now. That is waypoint 14. You can see waypoint 14 there. Um, she makes quite a drastic turn. But while we're looking at this, the uh, desired and the achieved turning rate is absolutely impossible for this craft. Absolutely impossible. There's quite a bit of wiggling, and you can actually see the wiggle in the actual log between uh, the uh, desired turn rate and the achieved uh, uh, turn rate. Uh, but she's coming up to another big waypoint now, which is waypoint 15, and she'll make a very sharp turn here. And she doesn't. The the interesting part here is she's doing. There we go. There she takes the turn. She's doing what the machine is telling her to do. So I was thinking that it was my parameters that were actually getting it wrong, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So, yeah, I think this is something that needs to be looked at. I'm going to play around with the settings a little bit more. I have a sneaky suspicion that uh, Waypoint Overshoot could help me out a little bit more here. But, uh, yeah, this is as far as we've, we've got with these uh, current parameters.